Hello everyone, welcome to the third part of our playlist called Make Your First Android App. So in the previous part we saw how we can make our first Android app. We made a dice roller application and in this video we will see how we can generate APK files or ABB files to upload them on Play Store or share our APK with our friends. So let's see how we can do that. So at first let me tell you that we can generate two types of APK files. One is the debug APK and other one is the release APK or the signed APK. Alright, so with the debug APK we can share it with our friends and they can install on their device and they can also perform uh, debugging and other uh, testing with Android Studio Profiler. Alright, but we can upload the debug APK to the Play Store. Okay. So if you want to upload the APK file or the ABB file in the Play Store, then you need to generate signed APK or the release APK. All right. So let's see how we can make both of them. So at first, I'll show you how we can generate the debug APK file. To generate the debug APK, we need to go here inside the build. From here, we need to click on this build bundles or APKs and from here we will click on the build apks let's click on that and it started building our apk and it will let us know once our apk file is ready all right as you can see it says that apk generated successfully so if we click on the locate here it will take us into the directory where our apk file is stored so this app dash debug dot apk this is our apk file for the dice roller application we can share this with our friends but we can't upload it on play store so in order to upload our apk on play store we need to create a release apk so let's see how we can do that also go back to android studio let's close this and now to generate the signed apk we will again click on build and this time we will click on the generate signed bundle or apk click here and it will ask you to select the app bundle or apk now from august 1 uh, play store won't allow us to upload apk files so in that case we need to generate uh, our app bundle or the abb or aab files okay so now uh, for this tutorial let's generate a apk file to upload on play store so let's click on the apk hit next and now it's asking for some credentials so our module is the dice roller app let's keep it as it is and then we need to give the key store path so android studio will generate a key store file or a jks file and we need to provide the path of that for this let's click on the create new here and now we need to pass the path so let's select a path from here i'll select desktop so let's quickly find our desktop folder here and let's give the file name so for the file name i'll write dice uh, roller all right and the file will be named as dice roller dot jks okay now let's click on okay so here is our directory now we need to provide password for this so let's quickly give one let's confirm this now we need to provide the key alias so let's name it as dice key we also need to provide password for this so let's write a password or let's write a new password confirm it and now this is the validity of our application so let's keep it 25 years and then we need to provide credentials for the app certificate so here i'll provide the first and last name of mine all right and then 
we need we can also provide these um, fields also the organizational unit we can write organization okay so let's uh, write here coding with Ivan okay we can also write our city let's write Dhaka and we can also write our country code so our country code is in my case my country code is 880 sorry 880 all right uh, now let's click on ok okay so here we have our all the uh, passwords and the key alias so you have to memorize or note down these uh, passwords and the key alias we will need these credentials every time we will generate a new apk file so once our credentials are done now we can click on next from here we need to select which type of app we want to make so we will click on this release because we want to generate a release apk and then we have to tick on this v1 and the v2 and then let's click on finish so it started building our apk file and will let us know once our apk is done all right as you can see we got a message that apk generated successfully so let's expand this and click on locate let's go into this release folder and here we have our app dash release dot apk that is our release apk or, or our signed apk that we can upload on play store so that's how we can generate signed apk now i'll give you a few tips that uh, when you will start your project on android studio by default your domain name will be com dot example dot your app name but if you are making your app to upload it on play store then your domain name can't be com dot example all right in my case i have changed the domain name as com dot ivan imran in the beginning of this playlist so make sure you also change your domain name accordingly and then uh, whenever you are updating your apk or you are writing some changes in your app and then generating a new apk you need to update the version of your app so for this you have to go to this module level gradle file and inside here you can see the version code and the version name all right so every time you make changes to your app and generate a new signed apk you have to increment that value like for the version code one uh, i am making the first apk so the our version name will be 1.0 and if i make some changes later if i make another apk then before making that apk i'll change this version name to version 1.1 similarly if i make another update then i'll change this to version 1.2 okay so that's how we will change our version names and once we change our version name we have to click on this sync now to save the changes all right so that was the tips and that's how we can generate the signed apk or the debug apk for our app and in the next video we will see how we can upload our app on play store